Judge Joe Brown's all new barbecue sauce and seasoning, justice in the form of flavor. Law firms will take this as a retainer. What? It must be a law firm when they hungry as hell. Now you gonna help me with this parole I'm dealing with? Judge Joe Brown's all new barbecue sauce and seasoning, justice in the form of flavor. With one taste of our premium blends of all natural ingredients, herbs, and spices, mm, you'll fall in love with meat all over again. Judge Joe Brown's all natural barbecue sauce collection is made up of two zesty flavors original and spicy. There's only one way to bring order back to barbecuing just add Judge Joe Brown's all natural barbecue sauce and seasoning, and you be the judge. I need everybody to hit the like button guys hit the like button and if you want to support the judge as you can see across the screen here is the cash app dollar sign Ricky L stone and also don't forget to go buy you some barbecue sauce at jjbbq.com and you can also purchase it on Amazon all right so I want to go I want to go to the super chats Salute Dana. Trump is going to wipe the floor with Hot Tua Harris. Hashtag Bronx for Trump. <laughs> the white thems out. Hey. <laughs> Didn't Trump call did Trump call her Hot Tua Harris? <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey. Listen, I cannot wait for this week to be over because it was Kamala, 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 Kamala. And then first of all, I'm not calling her Kamala. Cause she's running around here all week saying she black. When she's black, her name is Kamala. When she's India, her Indian, when she's claiming Indian, her name is Kamala. But black people, the black side is Kamala. So when she claims to be black, her name is Kamala. When she claims her Indianness, her name is Kamala. Well, I call her the I call her the humping hyena hoe. <laughs> Um, thank you, Freedom. Kamala beats Trump. We know it's this deep state operation by the left. I'm hearing Barack is supporting his wife for president. That would be a disaster. You think so? Yeah. What's your qualification other than screwing a pretty lackluster president? Hmm. I mean, what office does she run? What court is she run? What classes is she taught at a law school that's prestigious? What laws has she drafted? So how to what military? Well, we can say the same thing about Trump. Well, Trump's run a um, billion dollar corporation is CEO. True, but she she wasn't CEO, but oh, she so made what is something. Done? Before she became a housewife, she was doing she managed something. She was a part, well, she was an associate of a law firm and Obama actually worked for her. She was his boss. Kind of funny dating one of your subordinates. You know, that's a no-no for the ladies to say what they would say. Oh my God, he sexually propositioned his employee. Well, I guess maybe Michelle did that too. So, you know, hey. I had to wait for this hel uh, military helicopter to fly over. Oh, honey, they've been they've been ramping that up. But anyway, um, something about to happen. Um, Jeffrey from X. Hi, everybody on X. He says, at Judge, there's a trending question. How can Kamala be selected in this democracy as a presidential candidate without the people voting? Same thing Bill M was saying. And or is this a sign that Joe will resign soon? It's and not, Harris becomes de facto president defending the presidency. It's not quite that way. You can't elect the president anyway. You select a board of electors who select the president. They're supposed to be wise and learned men who are familiar with the candidates, their backgrounds and their qualifications. And you choose them to pick your chief executive officer. That's the way the Constitution was written. But I think that's going to happen. I think he and he should resign. 
She's only going to. Well, I, I hope he stays where he is. I mean, he's got to go pardon all of the. Well, damage. how much damage can she do if she's only president for six months? And we don't want her to be having finger on the button for two seconds. That help her. I can't. I mean, it gives me chills thinking of her having the nuclear launch codes at her beck and call. Mm -hmm. Keep breathing, Biden. <laughs> Freedom again. Kamala in in old Kamala not handled to come I don't okay I don't know what the NOTB Kamala could oh Kamala couldn't handle Tulsi Gabbard four years ago in a debate Ooh, Trump will have her, in her new oh. yeah Trump will have her in tears in 10 minutes into the debate Tulsi tore her a new butthole she even was halfway speechless she looked like Joe Biden paused you know like that ended her presidency run that that ended it right there she ended it yeah def d joe biden is about to concede his presidency having kamala harris that at data that's if by august 1st she'll have three months as our president she'll have more than where you get three months from if it's august we got September, October, November, December. That's four months. Um, elections in November. Van Jones, slap yourself. <laughs> the bitch. That's what. <laughs> the bitch needs to bitch slap himself. <laughs> Get in front of a mirror. Baby. The black gay guy reject the crying Negroes. The black guy, or is that black gay man, reject the crying Negroes? All right. KLG. I get on gay folk. I just get on punk folk. KLG. Good evening, you two. Question for Judge Brown: Why do our people often come together to support a black person running for president, but in any other situation, we do not help each other? Good question. Because it's a matinee. It ain't real for them. They haven't thought about it. They haven't contemplated it. They have not researched it. They just kind of do what they're told. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a concert. We got to go. Hey, hey. What did they say? I don't know. Hey. Um, thank you, Cheryl. Hi, Dana and Judge Brown. If you like impersonations, look up Esther Pouty on YouTube. She does a great Kamala. Also, she has a debate with Trump impersonator. Great show. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, and thank you, M.I. I think that's it. I want to see what kind of seasoning she puts on her word salad when she debates. You said what kind of seasoning? Yeah, she puts on her word salad. Um, guys, if you have a question, please send it um, via Cash App. I'm um, not Cash App, um, Super Chat. Um, it was something else I wanted to... Um, Something else. Oh, we got another question. Um, Netanyahu and co are saying Iran caused the assassination attempt and trying to get Trump to bomb Iran. Yeah. Oh, come get off of it. And and that's what I'm, that's why I'm like he's a liar. He he loves conflict. Is that Netanyahu that said that? Yeah, I, he did say that. Yeah, because that was going around Look, like they're trying to put Iran. Really, he's an Iranian agent. Come on. No, they're saying that Iran is the the one behind the Trump assassination attempt at the rally. I mean, I'm just saying that little nerd boy is an Iranian special agent. <laughs> Won't buy that one. In other words, do you think that kid was working for Iran? What kid? Oh. The Thomas Crook. Yeah, Crook. See, that's what he's saying. Crook was working for Iran. That's the effect of what he's saying. Yeah, and it's like... Really? Come on. Like, no. That boy ain't been much further than... I, I think probably the furthest that boy's traveled was a porta potty sometime. Yeah. Um, something else I wanted to share real quick. The county fair. 
I have so many Kamala gaffes and I, I'm tired of her. This So this is Kamala trying to be black. All right, Marlon. So I know how to make a theme park race. In fact, people used to ask me to make a race for them for Christmas. One year, I had so many that I had to wash that we ended up washing them in the bathtub. So I am not playing around. So what you got? Right, Marlon. So I know how to make a mean pot of greens. In fact, people used to yeah. ask. What the hell does that have to do with One year, I had so many that I had to wash that we ended up washing them in the bathtub. <laughs> the hell does that have to do with governing the United States of America? Exactly. And first it's of all, pandering. Not only is it pandering, you have disgusting cooking habits. You put collard greens in the bathtub to clean them? That's disgusting. And I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe her. I don't either. <laughs> I grew up when cleaning greens, turnip, collard greens, mustard was done on a regular basis. <laughs> I don't know anybody that cleaned them in a bathtub unless she was in the dorm uh, doing it in the bathtub while she was listening to eight year old Tupac while smoking, <laughs> you no know, telling what the hell she did then. Thank you, common man. Oh, the wait, the other one too. I got to, I can't let this one pass. When she was trying to campaign against Biden back in 2015, she talked about him causing her to be bused to school when she was in the second grade. And Lion Heffel was going to school in Canada. She didn't she leave at she left Oakland at the age of five, right? Yes, in her yearbook, which she had splashed all over the pages when she was running for attorney general of California, it showed that she went from kindergarten through twelfth grade in Canada. Yeah. Um, thank you, common man. common man. The male figure you were showing, Dana, is a symbol of the authority of law, nothing particular. Yeah, that's what I said. It was symbolic. Which male figure? The statue. Oh, this. Okay, okay, okay. I was going to say, which one? All right. It's like you see Lady Justice blindfolded, one boob out. Holding a scale of justice in one hand, sword in the other, and okay. snake. Thank you, um, common man. Appreciate. By that. the way, France has a delightful thing every year. They have a beauty contest where they select someone to be that year's Lady Justice with one boob out, holding the scales, a sword in one hand, tip resting on the ground, and trotting on a serpent. The bare breast is to feed the needy. Mm -hmm. Live Log TV. If Hillary has hot sauce in her purse, what does Kamala have in hers? JJB barbecue sauce? No, KY. <laughs> she got a tube of KY. Okay. So, okay, how many times am I going to have to hear the whole jokes from you <laughs> until, until she loses? Hey, it's a, it's a home thing. I used to represent a goodly percentage of the pimps and hoes in Memphis where they had some real pimps and hoes. So, okay, but what if, what if she, what if she pulls out a bar, um, Judge Joe Brown barbecue sauce? Cause you know, they're going to film him at a soul food restaurant. You know, she won't have to stop in Tennessee, probably even Memphis. So what if she pull out your sauce <laughs> at a barbecue sauce restaurant? Everybody snatch it from my ass. <laughs> I don't want the association. <laughs> All right. Uh, leave my sauce alone. That was a Hands good one. off of the sauce. That was a good leave one. your funky ass with your funky greens in your bathtub. That's probably why you have such an odor about you as you've been bathing with greens. <laughs> <laughs> what she got in her purse again? What's that? What you say she have in her purse? <laughs> a tube of KY. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, Harlem Hill. Qu 
question. Hillary had hot sauce and Tom Queen had KY jelly lubricant. <laughs> Why is the head of foreign government allowed to speak on the floor of the U.S. Congress? Good question. Get invited. They can do that. He was invited. Mm -hmm. They can invite guests. Mm -hmm. Churchill's done it. Mm. It was something else. I can't get serious now with you. I'm because I wanted to bring up mental health in Memphis. <laughs> I can't yeah. right now. And then Look at Tom Queen. Anyway. Made, by the way, that giggling and that hack cackling and oh, I do have a, a grin. That's a classic uh, example of mental health issues, primarily with self-esteem and some other things like that. Uh, a nervousness, the body language that goes along with it, it really does not say good things. I have some Kamala gaffes. Tell me of Kamala gag. Maybe she can be of use being the subject matter of a gag. You <laughs> exist in the context of all in which you live and what came before you. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> you exist in the context. Of I all that was you one. Live and what came before? That you. was dumb. What the hell is that? Out of a coconut tree? <laughs> you exist yeah, in it the does look like a monkey, but you know, I mean, other than that, maybe she did fall out of a tree and hit her head. This one. I'm trying to go to this one. Wait a minute. Are she her and hers? She her her? Mine too. All right. All right. First question. Anna, thank you guys. And my pronouns right. are she her and hers. She her her? See, she ended up pronoun shit. That's embarrassing. <laughs> think of Xi Jinping contemplating that and you go, huh? Wait, I have some more. Wait a minute. Where is this thing at? This is fun before we close out. Wait a minute. Can you see the president of the United States giving the ruler of China a head job to try and get her way? It's not even that. She's going to be standing up there talking about something. My pronouns are uh, she, her. What's something that she said? Are these new green buses going to keep their signature yellow color? These are going to remain yellow school buses because who doesn't love a yellow school bus? They will remain yellow, but their heart will be green. <laughs> are these new green buses going to keep their signature yellow color? These are going to remain yellow school buses because who doesn't love a yellow school bus? They will remain yellow, but their heart will be green. What was funny about that? <laughs> oh, dipshit dumbness. <laughs> you know what's so bad about it? As a black person who grew up in South Central LA, that bitch is lame. <laughs> Let me play. This is the last one. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. But she wants to reduce population. Why? I guess that's what she was doing. Since she didn't have any kids. You are so mean. <laughs> She's a mean bitch. The way she treated young black males in California. That is that true. That bitch need to be bitch slapped. That was not funny. See, everybody said, why are you go? No, I'm not going to be nice. People die all the time. This is serious business. And that whole sits up there and grins like some kind of demented banshee. Mm-hmm. 
It ain't funny. Huh? It ain't funny. No, it's not funny. And I'm I'm laughing at her, not with her. Oh, I know you're not. That cackling witch of a hyena grins and giggles at every damn thing. Only four people got shot. <laughs> Two people got run over today on the Boston Freeway. <laughs> I could make a, a a mean pot of collard greens. I be I, I <laughs> <laughs> so many orders. I had to soak them in the tub. Ugh. Well, you nasty bitch. <laughs> Thank you, C-Mac. Funny how this month the Dems are defending Kamala's white husband when last month they were attacking Byron about his white wife, the hypocrisy. Yeah, who, I don't care if these people who they're married to, so whether they're white, black, it doesn't matter. They're all liars. But it's like, yeah, you know, her, and I, I guess we're not supposed to talk about him because he's Jewish. I don't know, but I don't know if anybody was talking about his white wife either. So, yeah, like get off it. They're all liars. They're all liars. So I don't I expect one of these clowns. Uh, wait a minute. How I learned to love the bomb. That comedy thing that was brilliant. Remember the mad scientist that was the advisor to the presidents and he couldn't keep from making the Hitler salute. <laughs> It was just reflex with him. I keep waiting for one of them to give click his heels and do the old resurrected Roman, you know, on everybody. I know it's out there. It's in them. They act like Nazis. Who? The Democratic Party. They've been censoring speech and writings, what we have to say here. Just like the Nazis, they're trying to get rid of the Second Amendment. Just like Nazis, disarm everybody. They're trying to get rid of the Fourth on search and seizure. The Fifth Amendment. They're trying to put on showpiece lawfare trials. Just like the Nazis, they sound like them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is yeah, cake. Zeke hyena, Heil hyena, Kaka Kamala. Hyena. Kaka Kamala, that's a good one. And you see the KKK. Kaka Kamala. Kaka Kamala. Kaka Kamala. Kaka Kamala. Kaka in Spanish means poop. I know it does. She <laughs> full of shit. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, good show. Ending on a two hour mark. Um, anything you want to say to sum up tonight's show, Judge? Closing remarks. Closing remarks. Oh, well, hopefully sanity will prevail. If not, this is the turning point. We can save it or we can give it up. And I think if you get this witch in, you'd be giving it up. If not for her, I don't think she has sense to do much but go to the porta potty and shit out her greens. You know, I understand they have a strong laxative effect, but... <laughs> We need Trump to put this place back in order. Anyway, fellas, you stay on the plantations. Mm, you other folk illegal, take your ass back to the border, which I know you ain't. But anyway, let's get somebody in who will send you on your way.